Who doesn't like Lionel Messi? Football pundits would say no one. He is a genius of the game, also a World Cup winner with Argentina. But ask around in Hong Kong and you might get a different answer. I'll tell you why. On Sunday, Messi's team, Inter Miami, was in Hong Kong. They played a pre-season friendly in the city. Some 38,000 fans were in attendance. All of them wanted just one thing, to see Lionel Messi play. And for that, they paid a lot of money, up to 634 US dollars per ticket, which is around 52,000 Indian rupees for one ticket. But guess what? Messi did not take the field. He stayed on the bench as a substitute player, so the fans got angry. They started chanting refund during the match. Inter Miami won, won the match, but they lost the crowd. And it wasn't just the players and coach. Even club owner David Beckham was booed. He was clicking pictures on the sidelines, but when he took the mic, look at what happened. So I guess the question is, what happened here? Why didn't Messi take the field? According to him, because of an injury. In Hong Kong, we had an open-door training session and I went out because there was such a big crowd there and there was a clinic with the kids and I wanted to be there and participate. But the truth is that the discomfort was still there and it was very difficult for me to play. An injury is an injury, but tell that to the fans. Messi's no-show has spiralled into a crisis. Fans are demanding answers. Hong Kong's government wants accountability and a lot of money is at stake. Sunday's match was organised by Tatler Asia. Part of it was supposed to be funded by the government. How much was that? Around $2 million. But Tatler was with, has withdrawn that application. They say they won't take the public money. Not like they had an option. Fans are already targeting them and tearing them apart on social media. So taking public money was a non-starter. But the trouble does not end there. Hong Kong wants Tatler to reveal its contract with Inter Miami. Did it say that Messi would definitely play? Or was injury a possibility? Listen to what their CEO said. On Sunday, before kickoff, the official team sheet a list of the players who are available to play in the game, which was submitted by the Inter Miami CF team and signed by the head coach Gerardo Martino, showed Lionel Messi and Luis Suarez as substitute and therefore fit to play. Accordingly, Tatraja had every expectation that both would play the game. So to recap, the organizers say Messi was on the team sheet. If you're on the team sheet, you're fit. And that's a fair point. Things could have been certainly handled better. Maybe Inter Miami could have informed in advance. Apparently, they told the organizers only after half time. By then, it was too late. The organizers also pitched a backup plan. Maybe Messi could speak to the fans, sort of like a consolation address. But that too did not work out. So in the end, the fans went back angry. All they saw was Messi sitting on the sidelines. I guess you can call it a giant miscommunication. The organizers thought Messi would play. The government thought Messi would play. But the club had other plans. Something similar happened last month. Cristiano Ronaldo's club was supposed to play in China. Days before the match, Ronaldo picked up an injury. So guess what the club did? First, they cancelled the match. Then they made Ronaldo apologise. Could something similar have been done here in Hong Kong? I'm afraid it's impossible to know. In such cases, there is no perfect response. You have to accept the harsh reality. Messi is almost 36 year old. He is key to Inter Miami's title hopes this season. Not to mention their commercial success. And you can't risk your talisman. 
At the same time, you feel for the fans. 50,000 rupees is a lot of money for a ticket. Some of them travel to Hong Kong from other countries. They wanted to catch a glimpse of Messi in action. You can't blame them for being angry. So going forward, I guess there is just one solution. Better communication. Do not oversell your event. Do not overpromise. Make sure you're promoting what you can deliver. There's another Miami match tomorrow, this time in Tokyo. I'm sure fans have paid a lot of money there as well. But Messi may still be a no-show. If I'm being honest, I still don't know whether I can or not attend the match in Tokyo, but I feel much, much better and I'm really looking forward to being able to do it. Well, the fans in Tokyo are in for a ride. It will either be a massive heartbreak or a surprise of their lifetime. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issues, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America.